two types of adaptations structural adaptation and behavioral adaptation what is structural adaptation it's the way of how body works simply it's a change in the body structure of living organism to help it survive like the thick white fur of the polar bear and also the blood vessels in the penguin's feet and what is the behavioral adaptation? It's the way of the actions and acts. It's a change in the behaviors and acts of a living organism to help it survive. Oh, just like the desert lizard looking for the shaded area in the desert. And also migration of some birds and whales in the winter, searching for food and warm shelters. Oh, it's the Finnick fox, the smallest fox in the world. The desert is its habitat. But how does the Finnick fox adapt to live in the hot dry desert? It has a structural adaptation. It has a tan colored coat that provides camouflage to hide in a sandy, rocky environment and to protect it from the hot sun. It has extra large ears to help it lose the heat to cool its body. The special shape of ears provide excellent hearing that helps the fennec fox hunt. Now, can you tell me what is the structural adaptation of the fennec fox? Yes, it has extra large ears to cool its body. It also has sandy colored fur to provide camouflage. Excellent! And what is the behavioral adaptation of the fennec fox? It lives in burrows to stay cool during the sunny days. It's hard to find food in the hot dry desert. So the fennec fox eats all kinds of food like insects, plant roots, and even the remains from another animal's prey. It pants like dogs to cool its body. And what about the behavioral adaptation? It lives in burrows to stay cool in hot sunny days. It pants like dogs and it eats all kinds of food. Excellent! <laughs> Extremely low temperatures, strong winds, and endless no cover up spaces, the ability to find food. What does it take to survive in such conditions? This Arctic fox is built for the cold tundra. How does the Arctic fox adapt to live in the cold tundra? It has a structural adaptation. It has the short ears and legs to help it stay warm in this cold desert. It has a thick fur to keep its body warm in the extreme cold climate. It has a camouflage color fur. It's white during winter, but when the snow melts, it turns to the brown color to help it sneak up on prey in any season. Now, can you tell me what is the structural adaptation of the Arctic fox? Yes, it has short ears and legs to stay warm. It has a thick fur coat, white in the winter and brown in the summer to, to help it hunt. And what is the behavioral adaptation of the Arctic fox? In the cold tundra, in this extremely low temperatures, it's very difficult to find food. So, the Arctic fox eats all kinds of food, like insects, fruits, 
plant roots and even the remains from another animal's prey. It lives in burrows to stay warm at night. Can you tell me the behavioral adaptation of Arctic fox? Yes, it's like the Finnic fox. It lives in burrows to stay warm at night. And it eats all kinds of food. Excellent. Now you know how these wonderful animals manage to survive in a challenging and ever-changing environment with the help of adaptation. Next time, another example of types of adaptation. See you next time. Thank you.